YouTubers, writers, and other creative persons. It's October, and I finally can show you the project I've been working on. It's actually not a writing project, but as creative minds, I hope you'll be able to appreciate the effort that went into this. I want to show you my costume. Those of you that know me know that I love costumes and also Halloween is my favorite holiday. Okay, first things first, this costume has many parts and pieces. So I'll be showing you bit by bit how I created this costume. I'll be mentioning where I got things from for this costume and um, well, let's just start by unzipping the bag and pulling out the pieces. Falling out already. But the smaller bags that they're in. Anything else in here? No. Okay. Put that aside. Now I just gotta organize the pieces here. Okay, the first piece of this costume is some striped tights. So let me just hop into those. Okay, there's the tights, all that you're gonna see of them. And the next part of this costume, uh, this is just a preference for my part, but I like to put on a pair of shorts over the tights to keep them from sliding down. And with the shorts, you have a chance to see more of the tights and see how those look. I got these tights at Wish.com and these shorts I believe came from Burlington Coat Factory. They're just ones that I wear regularly under my Sunday clothes. The next part of my costume, and this may seem redundant, but I will be putting on boots so I want a little more than just tights, are some black lacy socks. So I'm going to put those on. So then I've got those lacy socks on and because once I get other parts of the costume on it's hard to put shoes on so I'm just gonna put the shoes on of my costume now. Uh, the socks I also got on Wish along with the boots um, and they're just cute little like ankle boots sort of thing. Uh, they're really really soft. I love the texture. I'm kind of worried about like the elements doing anything to these shoes. But let's get them on. They just zip up the side nice and easy. But like I said, once I have other pieces of the costume on, it'll be much harder for me to get the shoes on. So I'm just going to do that ahead of time. There's the bottom part of our witch costume. Um, I can make these socks a little shorter. So they go to there. And I, I like that. I think that's really fun. And even though it's not going to be so visible for people to see this part of the costume, I like to be in full character when I uh, dress up. Okay, so the next part of my costume consists of the top, which is actually a few pieces on their own. I had this purple t-shirt already, um, but the problem with this shirt is that it's very low, so I needed something underneath it. Um, I have this little, it's like a cropped shirt thing, it's from Down East and it is meant to hide cleavage. So I'm gonna put that under this purple shirt. And then, um, I don't know where I, where I got this purple shirt, but it's just a regular uh, purple t-shirt. And then on top of that, I will be putting this black lacy shirt that I found at a thrift store. So I've got three layers to go here, Let's put that together. I will be right back. 
as you can see this black top that went under does cover cleavage up so I don't show anything there that I don't want to and I'm gonna put on the lace top okay so there's the top of the costume and just to show you where we're at with that so I have the tights the socks the boots the top made out of three parts okay so I have this giant skirt here and it's actually like a Latin dancing skirt it has this amazing black underskirt part it was a gag gift that um, my one of the other missionaries gave me for my birthday uh, because we saw it in the thrift store like every week there and we just thought it was hilarious so I've turned it inside out I've unzipped it pull it around so it's backwards and latch it closed and then zipping it up is a little tricky because it's inside out I just zip that up and then I turn it around the correct way okay now you may see this part and you can tell it's inside out and that's a big problem so the next thing we have to do is grab this overskirt thing it's like a mini skirt inside with a lot of lace and stuff and turn it around the correct way and you can see this mini skirt on the inside is now hiding that yellow that was showing through I don't know if you can make that up but it's really smooth here and I don't like that so I grab the lace from the top and it's kind of got a scoop thing happening there and I pull that down on both sides and that's that part okay and once you've got this part on, it looks like this. The thing that I decided was missing from this look was I thought it needed to have more of a Victorian bustle. I will also be showing you how to make a bustle from practically nothing. Okay, to make a bustle from nothing, you're gonna need three things. You're going to need a long sleeve shirt of the color you want. You're going to need safety pins, of which I always have many and you're going to need a blanket and it doesn't matter what color the blanket is so the first thing you're going to want to do is take the long sleeve shirt in the color you want and turn it inside out i'm using an under armor shirt just because um, that's what i have and i've already safety pinned the inside of this shirt so i took it about two-thirds of the way down from the armpits is i safety pinned this up and I rounded the edges a little by bringing the corners in and safety pinning those in. The next thing you're going to do is take that and turn it right side out so that all of the safety pinning and extra fabric is on the inside and it should look like half a scarecrow almost. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your blanket, fold it up. You want a lightweight blanket and you're going to shove it in through the neck. Once you have it looking like that, you're going to want to take the part that your head would normally go through and fold it over and down and you're going to safety pin that so that it just stays in place and the collar does not, the collar of the shirt does not come up with doing anything. So what you end up with is this. Then all you have to do is put this under the skirt where you want with the bustle pad in the back. I'm doing it on top right now, but you'll put the bustle pad in the back. Get place it where you want it and you can tie the sleeves in a knot, but I'm actually going to safety pin so that there's no bulkiness of having a knot in the front. Okay, and you can see that added a lot more of that look I was going for with the Victorian uh, bustle in the back there. And the next part is to put on the corset. It zips up the side. I do have to untie the back. We got this corset on Wish as well. So, I'm gonna 
just zip up the side of it here. Pull it down so it zips up the rest of the way. There we go. And then I just take the ribbons in the back and I'm going to pull them tight. And then I'm going to tie them in a knot. And I laced it so that it can be self-tied. It's the easiest way is to have the bunny ear laces in the middle. I'm not going to be showing you how to do that, but I will show you how I tie it. So you just pull it little by little until you have it where you want it. Now you take the ribbons and the easiest thing would be to tie them in the front here, but because I'm wearing this as an over corset rather than an under corset, I'm actually going to tie it in the back. Um, even though it was Wish it's, that I got it on, it's really sturdy material. Um, the boning is nice. There is the costume with the corset. Now the only thing I have left for this costume are the accessories. And of course, my pointy hat. Okay, so I got the choker on. I've got my owl necklace on. And I've got the wrist uh, bracelet ring things on. Um, the choker and the wrist bracelet ring thingies, I don't know what these are called, I got on Wish.com and this owl necklace I actually won at a Harry Potter party. But there is under that lacy under thing. There is my full which look complete with the bustle, the corset, the hat, the accessories, um, yeah. And like I said before, the polka dots underneath make it a little whimsical, and I've got the boots and the tights to match, and that's my witch look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below what you're going to dress up this year for Halloween and if you would like to know anything else about this costume, if you want to make it yourself, I'm happy to answer any, com any questions you have below. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe. Bye!